आरबीआई गवर्नर स्ट्रेसेस नीड फॉर एटोनमी ऑफ सेंट्रल बैंक आरबीआई गवर्नर स्ट्रेसेस द नीड फॉर एटोनमी ऑफ सेंट्रल बैंक इन एवरी कंट्री इन एवरी कंट्री सेंट्रल बैंक प्लेस ए क्रूशियल रोल सेंट्रल बैंक लुक्स आफ्टर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी द मनी सप्लाई इन टू द इकॉनमी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट फिनांस मिनिस्ट्री वे लुक इन टू फिजिकल पॉलिसी नाउ आर बी ई गवर्नर वॉन्ट्स द सर्प्लस रिजर्व अराउंड नईन लैख क्रोर्स शुड बी वित् आर बी ई सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट सम ऑफ द मनी सर्प्लस रिजर्व ऑफ द आर बी ई टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट सो देर वॉज अ टजल बिटवीन आर बी ई एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट आर बी ई गवर्नर ऊर्जित पटेल वॉन्टेड टू मेन्टेन एटानमी ऑफ आर बी ई एंड ही एम्फोसाइज ऑन एटानमी टू रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आर बी ई वॉज क्रिएटेड आफ्टर द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ हिलटन एंग कमीशन ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश पीरियड देर वॉज अ कमीशन कॉल्ड हिलटन एंग कमीशन रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया वॉज क्रिएटेड ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन गिवन बै हिलटन एंग कमीशन आफ्टर दैट आर बी ई एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर वॉज पास्ट एंड इट वॉज आर बी ई हव बिकम द बैंक बैंक टू सपोर्ट द गवर्नमेंट सिस्टम and uh, governmental functions by 1949 rbi controls monetary policy rbi acts as bankers bank rbi issues modalities to the banks how they should rbi is not a bank like normal bank commercial bank functions rbi will not give individual accounts can you open the account in rbi as individual no no so uh, rbi is a regulator of all banks but the autonomy of rbi is now under discussion rbi governor rujit patel said <coughs> rbi as an institution needs autonomy what is autonomy independence rbi as an institution needs autonomy a next important thing coming to page number 9 of today's hindu page number 9 of today's hindu as i told you many times in the class any news from isro and nasa any news from isro and nasa is very important for upsc isro's imaging satellite hisis is all set to launch on tomorrow thursday so hisis what is hisis h y s i s it might be your films question what is hisis <coughs> h y s i s hisis is the country's first hyperspectral imaging satellite h y p e r hyperspectral imaging satellite for advanced earth observation tomorrow it is going to be launched from sri harikota tomorrow it is going to be launched from sri harikota <coughs> pslv is going to launch this hisis c34 the launch number is pslv c30 c43 pslv c43 and hisis is considered as a new eye in the sky it is watching so disasters agriculture and other some droughts and other things all will be detected by this images hisis so hisis is going to help entirety of our earth observation hisis will study earth surface in visible near near infrared and short wave infrared regions so it's very very important hisis will help us in various earth observation images earth images so that we can detect hot type of onslaughts drought on slots or something like famine or agriculture issues or even sometimes disasters it might help in the wide variety of things hisis 
and uh, this is PSLV's 45th flight polar satellite launching vehicles 45th flight hi sis and uh, it is going to carry PSLV C43 is going to carry 31 satellites it is not single satellite it is going to carry 31 including many foreign satellites including many foreign satellites and uh, there is a concept called nano satellite what is a nano satellite a satellite which is less than 10 kgs so around 30 nano satellites ESLV C43 is launching around 30 nano satellites they are from USA Australia Canada Colombia Finland Malaysia Netherlands Spain so we are also launching the satellites belong to various countries so all these foreign satellites are also being launched in ISRO there is a other wing called commercial wing called Antrix Antrix A N T R I X this Antrix will uses commercial wing so we can do commercial foreign satellite launch through ISRO's commercial wing called Antrix Corporation Antrix Corporation so let us see and hope that this mission that of HISIS a new eye in the sky will be successful and will have advanced imaging satellite in the name of HISIS very important question for films very important question for films that is called HISIS see kindly cut this article page number 9 Hindu and paste to your science and technology notebook page number 9 Hindu science and technology notebook very very important HISIS and coming back page number 10 editorial trial of destruction trial of destruction cyclone Gaza see cyclone Gaza affected Tamil Nadu many of the districts in Tamil Nadu even the effect of cyclone Gaza is not only on humans but also on property agricultural fields and coconut plantations in fact houses was ruined plantations were completely damaged people's livelihood got affected and uh, 1500 crores the Tamil Nadu state is asking relief really from the central government beyond all these things it is almost like tsunami what has occurred 2004 in Tamil Nadu so what we need is what we need is we need to extend help we need to have proper disaster management techniques we cannot stop disasters right can you stop tsunami earthquake or drought or flood but we can prepare for a disaster we can manage a disaster to minimize the effect on life and property particularly the farmers their loans now they are asking moratorium now they are asking waivers now they are asking support in fact so what the people expect when disaster affects that place material support money support to what extent the government can give that to what extent the government can do that in 2004 December 25th we got tsunami even today tsunami rehabilitation process still going on even today if you go to the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu you will be observing how badly the Tamil Nadu got affected by tsunami how badly the Tamil Nadu got affected by tsunami so so uh, now the need of the hour is first is preparation next is mitigation next is relief and rescue next is rehabilitation this cycle should go on in a prepared manner in a prepared manner in India one side we have floods every year we will see Brahmaputra floods on the other side we have drought Latur last year water drinking water was carried in trains in Maharashtra on the other side drought some places like coastal areas we have floods cyclones and tsunamis so we had all sorts of natural disasters coming to Uttarakhand and other areas hilly areas landslides avalanches landslides avalanches you all know two years back three years back people got stranded in Uttarakhand because floods flash floods earthquake and avalanches or avalanches and the Kondacherilu uh, landslides Kondacherilu Vilipatwan Mata 
అవలాంచెస్ అంటే మంచు కొండలు విరిగి పట్టు ఇవన్నీ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ హ్యాపెన్ ఇన్ ఉత్తరాఖండ్ సో ఇండియా ఈస్ ప్రోన్ టు ఆల్ సార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ న్యాచురల్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ ఎర్త్ క్వేక్ సో వీ షుడ్ కీప్ ద సిస్టమ్ రెడీ ఫర్ దాట్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ ప్రివెంట్ ఎ డిజాస్టర్ బట్ వీ కెన్ మిటిగేట్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఎ డిజాస్టర్ డిజాస్టర్ ఈజ్ న్యాచురల్ అండ్ సర్టెన్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఆర్ మ్యాన్ మేడ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాన్ మేడ్ న్యూక్లియర్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ ద మ్యాన్ మేడ్ డిజాస్టర్ స్టాంపీడ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ డ్యూరింగ్ గోదావరి పుష్కరాలు వీ హ్యావ్ స్టాంపీడ్ అండ్ పీపుల్ డై తొక్కిస్ లాట్ జరిగి ప్రజలు చనిపోయారు సో దీస్ థింగ్స్ డూ హ్యాపెన్ వీ కెన్ మిటిగేట్ వీ కెన్ స్టాప్ వీ కెన్ ప్లాన్ ఫర్ ఎండింగ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాన్ మేడ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ బట్ కాట్ న్యాచురల్ డిజాస్టర్స్ సమ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఆర్ స్లో ఇన్ ఆన్సెట్ సమ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఆర్ సడన్ ఇన్ ఆన్సెట్ సో ఎర్త్ క్వేక్ సునామి దే ఆర్ వెరీ సడన్ డ్రాట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ స్లో సమ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఆర్ సడన్ సమ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఆర్ స్లో సో కైండ్లీ రీడ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ డిజాస్టర్స్ ఓకే అండ్ ఆన్సర్ సైక్లోన్స్ ఫ్లడ్స్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ హౌ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ ఇట్ గా గాజా సి త్రీ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ల్యాక్ హౌసెస్ త్రీ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ల్యాక్ పీపుల్ గాట్ హోమ్లెస్ అండ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ హౌసెస్ గాట్ డిస్ట్రాయిడ్ 3.7 పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ల్యాక్ పీపుల్ గాట్ హోమ్లెస్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ హౌసెస్ గాట్ డిస్ట్రాయ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ పీపుల్ ఈవెన్ దర్ లైఫ్ స్టాక్ ఈవెన్ దర్ క్యాటిల్ గాట్ డైడ్ ఈవెన్ దర్ క్యాటిల్ గాట్ ఎఫెక్టెడ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ పీపుల్ బట్ ఆల్సో దెర్ అగ్రికల్చరల్ క్రాప్స్ దెర్ క్యాటిల్ దెర్ ఎంటైర్ క్రాప్స్ గాట్ ఎఫెక్టెడ్ దో యూ హ్యావ్ ప్రధాన మంత్రి ఫసల్ బీమా యోజన ద ఎంటైర్ థింగ్ ఈస్ నాట్ బీంగ్ కవర్డ్ అండర్ దట్ నౌ we do, we cannot expect the entire crops to be covered under this pradhan mantri how much of the population have went for fasal bhim yojana and what what is their entitlement that is a big question that is a really big question that we have to remember next article is lessons from a tragedy lessons from a tragedy today's lead article in hindu lessons from a tragedy what is this tragedy all about what is this tragedy all about listen in andaman nicoba 3 days back a bad incident happened a tragedy happened one adventurer went to sentinelis sentinelis a tribal group which generally was completely secluded group secluded means completely separated they don't want to come into the mainstream they fear for aliens as we see aliens they'll see the other human creatures so one adventurer went and he was killed he was killed this article is all about this particularly vulnerable tribal group primitive group not more than 10 families exist in that so here the others spoke extensively there are two three things why their behavior is so rude why they were so isolated why they don't want aliens are according to them aliens to enter into their land might be because of british cruelty colonial cruelty during british period they have used all cruel methods to succumb these tribes first thing and second thing might be they have fear of aliens but again the other sort they are using iron they are using glass beads they are using turbulence they are also using certain types of material so without any contact with other part of the world how they got all these things that means they are accepting some gifts they are accepting some sorts of food bananas but why don't they accept people that means they know what is a good adventure towards them what is a bad adventure towards them why don't indian government had an established team to develop contacts with these primitive tribal groups and why don't we bring these tribal groups into the mainstream this is the question this is a question it's not just an instant it's how part of our family human community is living so isolated way without any touch with the modern world is living in a primitive way as good as other living creatures as good as other living creatures how can we expect that this is what is the meaning of the article next article breathing space breathing space next article is all about breathing space now listen what is this breathing space from last one year every day 
in the indian economy there is a news rupee is falling rupee is falling rupee is falling see for us rupee is always a rupee right what is rupee is falling and rupee is gaining see in comparison to dollar rupees cost is falling in comparison to dollar rupees price is falling okay now listen say 40 years back 7 rupees is equal to 1 dollar in 1990 it was around 20 rupees is equal to 1 dollar in the year 2000 it was 40 rupees is equal to 1 dollar in the year 2010 it was 44 rupees is equal to 1 dollar in the year 2018 it was around 70 rupees is equal to 1 dollar so when you are asked to pay more rupees for a dollar it means rupee is falling when you are asked to pay more rupees per dollar that means rupee is falling i'll just tell a simple example kindly follow say in the year 2000 an american have come to india in the year 2000 an american have come to india he likes kashmiri apples he likes kashmiri apples he gave 1 dollar at that time 2000 1 dollar is equal to 40 rupees an apple is equal to 40 rupees he got one apple apple is very test, tasty in the year 2018 purchased to intended to purchase apple he brought 1 dollar to india so indian shopkeeper gave one big apple and also one small apple one big apple and one small size apple then american man asked earlier i got only one apple now you are giving two apples then the shopkeeper told now 1 dollar is equal to 70 rupees so at that time 1 dollar is equal to 40 rupees so for the same dollar american man got two apples so what he will do he will go to america and tell to his friends so go take 1 dollar to india you will get more more number of things right so when rupee falls our exports means people who come to india and purchase something from india increases okay same thing say an indian went to america taking 40 rupees in the year 2000 an indian went to america taking 40 rupees in the year 2000 he wants a donut in america donuts are very tasty thing he purchased a donut for 40 rupees thinking to purchase donut again in 2018 he has taken 40 rupees to america but the shopkeeper told he i cannot give you full donut i'll cut the donut into two pieces i'll give only half donut then the indian asked in the year 2000 you have given a full donut you are given a full donut and now you are giving only half then the shopkeeper told so 1 dollar if you are, the donut is 1 dollar so 40 rupees is equal to 60 cents you have to pay full dollar price then only i can give full donut then only i can give full donut so when rupee depreciates our imports will become costly when you go and purchase something from america or other countries in in comparison with dollar we cannot purchase much because they are very costly you have to pay more rupees when rupee when rupee depreciates exports will increase imports will the imports will become costly but unfortunately our imports are oil imports oil imports majority of the import bill goes to oil okay if we have to purchase oil we have to pay more dollars that means we have to pay more rupees per dollar that means we have to pay more rupees that means if oil prices increases india will get hit if oil price increases we have to pay more rupees to purchase dollars in order to purchase oil that means it is very difficult for us to go so for that reason fall in oil prices help in india to protect the indian rupee got it so if there is a rise in oil prices you have to pay more rupees more rupees means you have to purchase paying more rupees dollars that means if you create more demand for dollars automatic demand for rupee decreases if the value of De demand in on behalf of fund currency increases automatically we have to pay 
more rupees, rupee will depreciate. So, fall in oil prices will result in protection of Indian rupee. For that reason, from last one week, we have seen rupee, rupee got slightly strengthened. Rupee got slightly strengthened. This is a message in the article. Breathing space. So, what is breathing space here? For rupee, for rupee, there is some space to breathe. There is some state to get space to get strengthened. There is some space to get get strengthened. Okay. So next article, a prescription for the future. A prescription for the future. One of the best articles in Hindu today. A prescription for the future. Okay. The other speaks about cutting edge technologies, advanced technologies. The other in this article is speaking about cutting edge technologies, advanced technologies. See, right now the world is entering into industrial revolution 4.0, right? Industrial revolution 1.0 is steam engine. 2.0 is electric engine, 3.0 is computer science, 4.0 is artificial intelligence. We are now entering into the stage of artificial intelligence. Robots, artificial intelligence is surpassing man. Robots, artificial intelligence is surpassing man. One thing. Second thing, we have a new term called IoT, Internet of Things, where human life is going to be connected with complete sophisticated IoT, Internet of Things. And apart from that, we have virtual reality. We have a concept called virtual reality. Virtual reality now have come to an extent of augmented reality. Do you have an idea what is augmented reality? Have you played a game called Pokemon Go? See, you are playing a game. At the same time, you are also going to the real-time targets. Okay. Combination of virtual reality with the real-time targets will we'll enrich a game, a science and technology concept called augmented reality. What is virtual reality? Virtual reality is a scenario. For example, 10, 12 years back, 13, 14 years back, there is a movie called Jeans. Right? There is a hero called Prashant and hero in Aishwarya Rai. In that movie, there was a duplication of Aishwarya Rai. There is a dance. In the dance, two Aishwarya Rai's dance. Right? Second Aishwarya Rai really do not exist, but still it reflects that she is also dancing. That is called virtual reality. Now, virtual reality have enriched itself to augmented reality. Along with virtual reality, there will be real time sets and goals. So, you may get a prelims question or mains question, what is the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality? That we will discuss in future classes. Virtual, the other spoke about virtual reality, the other spoke about augmented reality. The other spoke about artificial intelligence, the other spoke about biotechnology, genetics, improvements in all the fields. And the other said, three years back, three years back, there is a photo in the Time magazine stating that the new babies can live up to 142 years, 150 years. Because of the modern technologies in medicine, human life expectation, longevity will go up. Because of the modern technologies in medicine, Human's life expectancy and longevity will go up. But the other is saying, while using cutting edge technology, we need to find a way to get a low cost medical care. If medical care is very costly, if medical care is very costly, how can a common man afford? In fact, when we got independence, our life expectancy, can you imagine, 32 years. The average Indian used to live for 32 years. When we got independence, the average Indian lived only for 32 years. Now, how many years the average life expectancy? 63, 64, it is going around. But in future, it may go. For example, in developed countries like Japan, in Scandinavian countries, the life expectancy is 77 years, 80 years. So, as we go in development, as we go in advanced technology, as your country grows rich, the common man's life expectancy will also go high. Whereas, for example, if you go for underdeveloped countries like African countries, 
the life expectancy will go down why do this happen why do this happen just think it over think it over when the country grows rich when the country's water is pure when the country has less corruption when the country has good happiness prosperity automatically the country's living standards will increase automatically medical care will increase automatically people's life expectancy will increase whereas when the country is underdeveloped life expectancy will fall so what we need for that cutting edge technologies in all fields it's good but this genetic engineering this biological advances and medical care all these things should be helpful at a developing low cost technologies if you bring a technology which is of high cost indian many of the indians cannot afford so in order to protect the human health care you need to bring low cost technologies this is the essence of this so very beautiful article and private health care how costly it is all these things were discussed you just read about this article it's really really good particularly augmented reality versus virtual reality she has not discussed about that in the article then she has only mentioned the names but i think this year coming mains virtual reality versus augmented reality such type of questions can be expected apart from genomics genetics uh, genetic engineering and uh, human genome project dna fingerprinting technology all these things are also equally important from this article okay next article ayodhya will have no resonance with the public <coughs> this is not at all important for exam this is not at all important for exam and the last page open hindu's last page today last page of hindu i told you whenever there is a news on isro and nasa wherever there is a news on isro and nasa nasa's insight lands on mars nasa's insight lands on mars very important topic for exam so isro we have studied about hisis amazing satellite hisis pslv c 43 now nasa <coughs> nasa's insight mission is for mars mars is also called as red planet nasa's insight mission i n s i g h t nasa's insight camera now is probing the mars now is probing the mars the project is 993 million dollar spacecraft 993 million dollars spacecraft so you may get a prelims question insight mission belongs to nasa insight mission was sent to mars insight mission was sent to mars and the eighth successful landing on mars in nasa's history successful landing on mars let's see how it is going to fail let's see how it is going to fail this is very very important so read this article nasa and insights so these are all the current affairs